and 90% of people don't even know you can do this. So if you're using open code just for code, you're missing out on hours saved every week. You can actually use AI tools to help with automating research, content creation, and even team communications with it. This one setup that I'm gonna show you helps turn open code into your team's productivity engine or your personal assistant. So let me show you what you could be doing with it. But essentially the instructions are, we're gonna build a planning and research and content creation workflow using different agents and slash command. So we're literally just gonna say, hey, please build our personal workflows using the file we just stated here. And we should start seeing it build our dot open code um, folder with all the settings in, in it. While we're waiting for that to build, I just wanna to quickly touch on some of like the thoughts behind the instructions here. And it's around these three things, slash command, context files, and agent. So slash command is like your initial prompt, not initial, your, your initial prompt with context that you can pull straight in. So that's why I really prefer the slash command to bring in, you know, initial context that we really care about. We can come in and update all this, but. All right, so one thing to note, we made this with open code. We actually have to exit the session because what everything we've just created here, both with the MCP and all the agents aren't in the session yet. And we can see content strategy agents is there, which is awesome. 